Hi, my name is Chris Ryan, and in today's video, we're looking at the three things that you must have down at impact if you're to hit really straight iron shots. So I am here at the Marriott Golf Academy at the Grand Vista Golf Resort in Orlando. I'm out here for a few days, running a couple of golf schools, and I've been lucky enough to get used to facilities to help or to create some content to hopefully help you improve your game. So today's video is how you can hit your iron shots dead straight. Now this is something that many golfers would like because I do see a lot of golfers who feel like they can get the ball to finish on target, whether that be the green or maybe the fairway, but there's curve. There's too much left to right curve or too much right to left curve. If we can start to get that ball to fly a lot straighter, we generally find the game a little bit easier because we can attack more flags and often that ball flight becomes a little bit more predictable. Now there's three things that we really have to have in place if we're gonna hit dead straight iron shots. The first of those is we have to be making contact from the middle of the golf club. If you're not hitting the middle of the golf club, it is incredibly difficult to hit the ball straight. So the first one is we need to make good contact. Now, for the purpose of this video, and I'm sure this is correct, we're gonna assume that all of you are hitting the middle of your golf clubs every single time. I'm sure that is the case. There are two other things that we need to be in place to ensure that our ball flies dead straight. At impact, we need the golf club itself, the club face, to be pointing directly at your intended target, whether that be the fairway, whether that be the green, whether that be the middle of the green, the flag, whatever it may be. Now, when our golf club is pointing at our target, we need our club path to agree with that, which is also at the target. So club path being the direction that the golf club is traveling in as it makes contact with the ball. Club path and club face are incredibly difficult things to control. The path of the club and the face are always in the process of changing. They are never constant through the goal swing. And so things like ball position become hugely important. Um, swing path or swing direction become impossible. And whether we're hitting up or down on the ball, again, becomes incredibly important. This simple little exercise I've set up here is gonna help you just appreciate what needs to be in place for you to hit those dead straight iron shots. As I set up to this golf ball, you'll notice that I've got two alignment sticks here. These are both parallel to my target line. I've got one behind me and one in front of me. Now, in my downswing, I'm looking for the golf club, when it reaches parallel to the ground, for my club shaft to be about the same as the alignment stick on the ground. We are not talking about one, two, three degrees difference. We're talking about moving away from positions such as this or positions such as this, where we're, you can see quite a considerable distance away from being parallel. So at last parallel in the downswing, we need our golf club to be parallel to the target line. As we make contact and we go through, again, the golf club would be about parallel to the target line. It might be more difficult to see with myself in the way. So if you're the golfer who really struggles to hit straight shots, you hit lots of shots with curve, there's a very good chance that at this last parallel, you're going to be slightly different to the alignment stick. If you're missing it here, the chances are that you're going to miss it on the through side. This means that our path is going to be very often away from zero, it's non-straight. That is a very, very good way to produce curve. Many of the best players in the world will actually use the path to shape the ball. For many of you, it's gonna be the reason why you don't hit it straight. So if we can achieve this neutral path, we then need to have a neutral face which matches that. So when I reach this last parallel position, I would like my club face to be about vertical, maybe slightly turned in. Now the way you're going to control that is really by how you twist the golf club via your hands. You can see how without moving the club physically this way or this way, I can twist the golf club, make it point in different positions. So slightly more down would be fantastic. As I rotate through and hold my finish, you can hopefully see how the leading edge matches my spine angle, ma ma matches the amount that I'm tilted over the golf ball. What we wouldn't want is we wouldn't want the club face to let's say point way up to the sky and then on the way through it's not matching my spine or maybe you're the golfer who gets it pointing up and you over release it and it points more down towards the ground. So I would start off with a golfer who would like to hit the ball straighter with no curve. He start off with some really, really short goal swings that maybe go 30, 40 yards, starting to hit some of these checkpoints that we've gone through. So that might look a little bit like this. I'm gonna take my setup. I'm gonna move up to the top and I'm gonna understand what it feels like to move the club down to here where I can see my club face is in good position and my club face, sorry, my club shaft matches the alignment stick. From here, I can just make some little rotations through. 
where I achieve that end position with a club face matching my body. And you can see how that ball's flown pretty much exactly where I'm aiming. Had that been, you know, another 100, 150 yards, there wouldn't have been any curve on that golf ball because of the way that I delivered the golf club. If you're looking to hit straighter shots, it's really all about impact, about what happens in the collision between the club and the ball. This little exercise is just going to give you some good ideas about what you need to have in place in order to achieve that. As I say, if you are that golfer who curves the ball, it's going to be so common for you to be in positions where you're, you're missing both of those. You can see how the alignment stick and my club don't align. The leading edge is laid back. This golfer is going to have a massively across swing. That ball is going to have a huge amount of curve. I'm going to find it very difficult to play the game to a high level. So with two alignment sticks, a little bit of club face awareness, you can begin to start training a more neutral swing with a path and a face which are going to produce a neutral ball flight. If you can achieve that, if you can start to take some of the curve away from your shots, it's going to do two things. It's going to mean that you can attack more flags on the green and it's going to mean that you're in a better place to actually be able to shape shots because from a neutral swing, it doesn't take a huge amount to be able to curve the ball both ways. And that's a great way to start to really elevate your game to the next level. So hopefully that is helpful to you, some things that you can do to improve your game going forward. Again, a massive, massive thanks to Marriott Golf Academy for hosting me for a couple of days, letting us do our golf schools here, and also letting me film some videos on this fantastic tee down here. Thank you for watching. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box, there's a like button, and there's also a link to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. We shall see you again soon.